I was born and raised in Cuba uh, in 1962. My parents and I, my sister, left as refugees. Things were dangerous when I was growing up. So being inside the house was like a, a big favorite thing of mine. <laughs> Which is interesting because, you know, years later I'm inside rooms, darkening them, making camera obscuras. The security of a room still really warms me. <laughs> The early camera obscuras were fairly simple. I darkened the whole room with black plastic. Then I usually, on the plastic itself, make a hole about three-eighths of an inch. And that alone would actually bring an image into the room. Sometimes I would add some things just to make the thing a little bit more fun. But usually an inverted image floating in that room is sort of the main act. <laughs> To me, it's important that my pictures represent the known world, and then suddenly you, by staging it differently, the question arises, do we ever know this thing? A living room can now be a kind of a strange theater. I'm now embarking on a few trips to the West, to national parks. I'm really quite interested in revisiting the milestone work that 19th century American photography is made in that landscape. I'm working with this 14-foot diameter tent with a periscope apparatus that allows nearby imagery, landscape, to get projected right on the very ground itself, whatever that ground may be, you know, dirt, rocks, sand. I'm making still lives now uh, at home just when I, I'm not traveling. And some of these still lives are sort of, I think, derived a little bit from my love for Magritte. In 1993, I photographed uh, pages of a book. Uh, sunlight was falling on it, and I thought it was beautiful. So I made a picture, and I liked it a lot. And I thought, mm, maybe there are more pictures to be made. That's a new picture I just made last week. So books have interested me as a subject for a very long time. I think in my work there's some undercurrent that the world's not quite, you know, a peach. There's a really wonderful haiku by a guy named Isa, and I'm going to paraphrase it, but I think it goes like, all the time we're walking on the roof of hell, gazing at flowers. It's a beautiful sort of compilation of reality and not reality, and I think photography is perfect for that. Thank you.